Okay, welcome to uh, to Spears. Uh, before I continue, I, I, I'm going to ask you a favor. Uh, please do me a favor. I want you to uh, subscribe, to like the video. If, it, if Even if you don't like it, you can do a thumbs down. Uh, you can share it. It's really important uh, because the YouTube algorithm uh, really is very hard to, to you know, to find people watching your videos so you need, as a viewer you need to you need to really help the channel to move forward so today's topic is really important so the reason I chose this topic is uh, I see a lot of restaurants they open up and then after a few months they close down and it, it is a tragedy and uh, I would like to give you some some tools in order for you to, uh, to in order for you to help you whether whether before you start the business if your idea for the restaurant is is good I mean is a fit for the market if the market wants uh, uh, your idea so this one applies to a lot of restaurants so but specifically I'm going to talk about African cuisine so how to start an African restaurant? So in order to start an African restaurant is you have to understand who is your uh, who is your customers? Who are your customers? Okay? Are you planning to you have to determine uh, your customer base. If you don't know your customer base, it's going to be a problem. Because if you're if you're opening the restaurant in the US and uh, you don't know your customer base, it won't, have, it won't be a problem for you uh, later on. So you gotta find out your customer base. Okay, so that's really important. Once you figure out your customer base, then you can go to the next step. So, I'm going to help you to understand a little bit when, when I say customer base. So, here we're talking about African restaurant. So, a lot of Africans, they do like the African cuisine. So, are you, are you going to open the restaurant specifically for Africans uh, who live here in the U.S. or for everyone else? You have to determine that. Okay. If you determine that the Africans are most likely going to come to your restaurant, second way you look for is you have to look for uh, a community. So, so the community of Africans. So you have to find out a community of Africans where there is a large population of Africans. Because otherwise, community is really important when it comes to business. If you do not have a community, you basically, uh, basically your business doesn't have customer base. So in order for in order for you to uh, to have a customer base, it is really important to you have a community. Okay. So you, in the case of the African restaurant, you have to find out where a lot of Africans live. So that's where you will open your restaurant. It's really important. So if you think, if you think that you're, if you want to open a cuisine, African cuisine for everyone. So if you want to do that, you have to find out, you have to find out whether other people like the African cuisine. You have to figure out if you don't know it, then it's going to be a problem, okay? So, before you open, even open an African restaurant, so once you find out the community, once you, are, once you find the community, what you need to do is you, you need to uh, start at home. Start
So basically what you need to do is you need to start making food at home and then uh, then uh, try to uh, communicate that to, to the people in the community and you know, make sure you know spread the word so it's very effective you know uh, mouth to mouth is really important so people tell their friends you know they always refer you know they, they give you referrals they will tell you okay uh, she does you know the, the, she does very nice food and uh, very delicious food so it can really spread in, in, into the community so when you start at home before opening a physical restaurant okay you start at home then once you determine that you're getting a lot of demand so you, you you can tell so you can tell the feedback a lot of people whether are you getting how many people are you getting a week are you getting uh, 10 people a week are you getting, getting 20 people a week so if you reach at the point where you cannot keep up the demand that's where you have to start finding a, uh, a commercial space. Okay? So you have to find out a commercial space where they allow you to, to rent uh, a kitchen. All right? So so that commercial space will allow you to have all the tools that you need and then you'll be able to uh, to make a lot of food uh, then from there you'll be able to to really uh, help your you know, to deliver the food to your customers so once you did that and then you see the feedback okay so in the commercial in the commercial space is you would have uh, some expenses because you have to pay for the rent and uh, maybe for the utilities also so you have to consider that too it's really important so when you build a customer base okay and uh, the customer base is consistent so you have to move to the next step the next step is finding finding a physical location a physical uh, uh, physical location all right so I'm, I'm a little bit conflicted in the in the idea of really uh, opening a physical space because uh, physical space is really expensive it's really is it is outrageous the price that they charge you by like ten thousand dollars and uh, I I can give you an example I know uh, a, you know a lady from my uh, from my community from Chad she opened up a, uh, a small place in New York a uh, small restaurant and the, the place was very small I asked her how much she was paying in rent and it turns out that she was paying ten thousand dollars and uh, as an entrepreneur, I knew that it's, she's not going to keep up because it's really hard to, unless you're getting a lot of customers, otherwise it's really hard to pay the rent. So you have to be very cautious in terms of getting a physical space, a physical location. If your, your, plan, if your plan is to build a brand, if you, have, if you want to build a brand, uh, and uh, then it, it requires a lot of resources. So once if if you if you want to build a brand okay then you can go and find out a physical space and then uh, you can slowly grow and build a different uh, you know you know build it on a different uh, 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 locations or estates otherwise I would advise you to just uh, stick to the uh, to the commercial space uh, it's more affordable okay it doesn't have a lot of restrictions so that's my uh, my idea. So before before you start to uh, borrowing money, uh, you have to consider this. Otherwise, you will spend a lot of money, and you find out that uh, uh, nobody. You, you find out that you don't have a customer base, you don't have a community. Okay. So it is really important if you want to open a restaurant, 
you have to consider these uh, these elements if you want to be successful. So I just want to summarize it. Uh, so if you want to open a restaurant, African restaurant, so first you gotta consider your customer base, uh, determine who's your customer, okay, and uh, then after that you gotta find out your community where your your customer base will be, okay. Uh, the community will be the uh, where the source of, of the source of your customers, okay. Once you determine that, then you can start doing uh, cooking at home at a small uh, I mean a small small scale at a small scale, okay. And then when, once you pr once you prove that you have customers customer base, there is a lot of demand. Then you move to the next step, which is you gotta find out the commercial space, okay? For the commercial space, as you grow, as I told you, unless unless you want to really create a, a good brand, a well-known brand, I would not recommend that you find it. Uh, I would not recommend for a physical location. It's really uh, it's really expensive. So these are a few points. Uh, if you need any help. Uh, you can uh, subscribe or you can join uh, join the membership and I will be able to uh, to help you so in the meantime please uh, make sure you like the video uh, you share it and you subscribe and if you have a different opinion a different perspective uh, you can comment thank you very much